mad science of Maine here. Has anyone ever talked to you about the states of matter before? If they have, they probably talked to you about the three states of matter. So for example, talking about like an ice cube here, it's a solid. Another example would be water, which is a liquid. And then, when water steams, like say you've got a hot cup of water, it's evaporating, or becoming the third phase, a gas or a vapor. Now, when an element like water changes between these three different states of matter, we call that a phase change. So for instance, it can freeze into a solid, like that ice cube. It can evaporate into the air, becoming a gas, like when water boils. Of course, once it goes up into the air, it then goes ahead and forms clouds and rains back down as a liquid. Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, when people are talking to you about the three states of matter, what they don't always know is there's a fourth state of matter. That fourth state of matter is called plasma. You see, plasma is similar to the gas state of matter, but the big difference is way, way down on the atomic level. You see, the nucleus of an atom inside of gas has all the electrons clinging to it, but the nucleus in plasma has the electrons able to flow freely. And plasmas we can see as examples because the hottest parts of stars are made up of plasma. There's man-made plasma, like neon signs that you'll see in storefronts. And the northern lights, or the aurora borealis, that's a plasma as well. So the next time someone talks to you about the states of matter, and they say the three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases, you can tell them about the fourth state of matter, plasma. All right, have a great day, scientists. Why? Why? Shh.